need I say more? Let's check out year to date so far, some of the corruption that we've seen for shares of AMC. So, so far this year, 3.5 billion shares traded of AMC, which is amazing. AMC's trading volume has been very, very healthy. But what's crazy is that the shares run off exchange, 1.8 billion of that. But the crazy part is the dark pool trading, the shares that have ran off exchange, none other than 1.878 billion shares have run off exchange and traded likely in the dark pools. This equals to a whopping $37.9 billion worth of buy pressure that the lit exchanges never saw completely stolen from retail investors. And an ape down below said, so want to make change? Here's a link. We can all go to the sec.gov website and share our thoughts with them. And of course, you can always tweet at sec.gov and DOJ Criminal Division to hopefully see some changes soon. Another tweet to go through. Here's a fun fact for everyone watching the SEC, Gary Gensler, the Justice Department, the DOJ Crime Division, Clown Show. Retail isn't stupid. We see exactly what's been going on at the White House. Everybody takes their Citadel cuts at retail's expense. Politicians get their campaigns paid for, et cetera, et cetera. It says right here, Citadel Securities fined 58 times for violating trading regulations, many about naked short selling. The net revenue, $6.7 billion plus. Percentage of fines to revenue is 0.0044%. Does this seem fair? If you were fined 58 times, if you were fined 58 times, would you be allowed to keep operating? Now, that's a really good question. And I know it's sort of comparing apples to oranges, but just look at it this way, guys. If you were pulled over 58 times for doing something wrong, let's say you ran a red light 58 times, something arguably not all that bad, just running a red light when there's no one else around, let's say you did that 58 times, would you be able to still drive? Would you be allowed to still have your driver's license? Or would it be revoked well before that happened? That's the way that I look at it. And on top of that, the 0.0044% of the fine is just outrageous. These fines are way too low. And in my opinion, I think they keep them low because they want to make sure that these hedge funds can stay in business. If they wanted to, they could up the fines quite a bit, but they choose not to. But if you want to stay up to date with everything else that's going on with AMC, because trust me, guys, there's a lot more to go through. Make sure to please subscribe to my channel with notifications turned on so you never miss out on an up and coming video. Also, if you guys haven't already, make sure to please drop a like in the video. It really helps the channel grow. And lastly, make sure to go down below to my description to see all the links down there. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one.